Winter break will soon be here for kids across the state, but for many that means no school meals to rely on. A Washington County Church, though, is helping bridge that gap. Our Bryant Clerkley joins us to talk about it, and Bryant, they're helping a lot of families. That is right, they are. Ashley, five tons of food went to around 120 Beaverton High School students who are experiencing homelessness and food insecurity. It's enough to last about two weeks, and this Beaverton Church has been helping families like this for six years. Here at Bethel Congregation United Church of Christ in Beaverton, dozens of volunteers are preparing to drop these food bags off to students at Beaverton High School. These 5,880 meals will keep students in need fed throughout winter break. Organizer Nancy Winston says it takes a large community effort to get the job done. Food is provided part of it through a grant from the Beaverton City Council. Um, and we get $5,000 from them. We get food from the Oregon Food Bank and volunteers at the church don't drop off food and the Jesuit High School alumni give us gift cards. Over at Beaverton High School, head counselor Bonnie Heaton says almost half of the students qualify for free and reduced lunch and rely on the meals served in the cafeteria. So when school is closed during the Thanksgiving break, during the winter break, during the March break, they may not have food that they can count on. Heaton says these groceries make a world of a difference to a lot of these families. Uh, I mean, tears and joy and thank you, and we had no idea we were going to be able, we didn't know what we were going to do without this help. Beaverton Mayor Lacey Beatty says this food drive is just one way to make things a little easier for teens dealing with homelessness and food insecurity. We have one of the highest rates of teen homelessness in the state of Oregon. It's not a statistic we're proud about. And homelessness doesn't look like maybe what it looks like in other communities. We have a lot of young people that are sleeping on couches one night and then another couch another night. So the counselor at Beaverton High School says at the high school alone, there are 98 students registered as homeless. Bryant Clerkley, KGW News.